Hey, it's me, Junior Free, one thousand percent. And yeah, there's an intro now. June, June, the lines on the earth slowly shifting with a push and pull of invisible strings tied to outer galaxies. Maybe when the galaxies were closer together, we went there on short trips as we are forever expanding. When we die, we join the infinite chaos and logic of the universe. We expand together and the horizon forever shifts. Possibilities of an infinite nature as to why our Earth exists and the origin of our souls. Were the time in the beginning not expressed in a single number, but in a notion of senses, flows and never ceases. Junipery, one thousand percent. Now the intro is over. So this reading is going to be about where, or how will you meet your true love slash soulmate. I've been wanting to do this reading for a while, but before that, I want to mention about how I started a blog. That's just some random topics that I decided to put together. I just addressed you, as well as some merchy things, and also Patreon, which I haven't posted on much. But yeah, it's coming together, and I love you very much, and I hope you love your life too. Okay, so, this is pile number one, with the Germanite. I think that's how we pronounce it. I actually don't think that's how we pronounce it. And this is... Power number two for the lapis lazuli. <laughs> Definitely pronounce that one right. And this one with the angel eyes from the sky. Alright, let's go. I miss doing this reading. So, power number one, how will you meet? I selected the Dromonite, which I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm trying to say it anyway. Well, to me this is a very practical step, because some parts of the Dromonite is used in industrial things like dentistry at home. And you can go check it out, please. Um, and so, because of that, I find Germanite's very, it's very magical, but also has a feeling of, like, not necessarily grounding to the point that you feel like you're attached to the earth, but a floating kind of groundedness. It makes you feel like you're part of the world, but you don't think like Okay, so maybe the stone is telling you to be balanced with practicality and creativity. I was going to say being weird and practical at the same time. Maybe that's part of it too. Alright, cool. Now this one is about, oh this is 12. It's about saying hello to people more. Maybe I'm getting the sense that some of you, maybe like me at times, we wonder is it really worth it talking to those people? Or maybe even hold a little bit of prejudice towards some people. And there is a reason why you have this kind of prejudice, maybe. Most likely. But I mean, if we suspend our prejudice for a while. Which I guess, just using me as an example, I like to do that sometimes. Like going to random things, getting to know people from their point of view, instead of from 
to be on the other side of it. So, I just don't be afraid to talk to people about it. So this is what the universe wants you to say, wants you to know, wants you to say to them. <laughs> Hello. So, also I'm getting the feeling you might not like being attached so much. So that's why you want to keep a bit of distance, distance even between the community you are part of. And I think the universe wants you to know that it's okay to get tangled up in the mess. In a mess. Yeah. I guess I <clears throat> But yeah, sometimes I'm not that interested in getting this drama either. <laughs> I cause drama. Anyway, number three. Ooh, well, this card is all about cooperation. Actually, this one is a real. Look at air, huh? I was getting that feeling. So in the traditional tarot, it is... Hey, let me just put this down first. In the traditional tarot, it is a heart with three swords attached to it. And it's about, to me, sometimes it is about yourself being one of the swords, your friends, family, and like your shadow self as well is probably one of the swords. Or it can be your friends, your family, and then just yourself in the middle of that scene. Yes, this to me really talks about how the universe wants you to speak with it through books. Maybe sometimes you want to solve just random issues and then you open a book and it's really related. For example, sometimes this happens to me well, when I want it to happen to me. So, I'm thinking about something and there's something really similar, some kind of situation that I'm in, and then I read a fairy tale. And that fairy tale, strangely, really relates to what I'm going to. So I think how you'll meet the person is with references, I'm just, um, maybe you'll get introduced to people by your friends or <laughs> following them. Like how people meet each other, even if it's through like how people, how the prince and the princess meet each other in a fairy tale. I think the universe is saying to you that, but just let me check something. Thank you for waiting. So, the universe might want you to also, I'm also getting the sense that back to how I said about balancing creativity, inspiration, and practicality. I'm getting the feeling that there are some old stories, like um, the ending song of. Revolutionary Girl Lieutenant is coming up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that anime. Um, and so it's about saying goodbye to all those old beliefs you had. It also ties into this, just like suspending your old beliefs and just wanting to learn things from your own point of view, through your own experience. I think that's what the universe wants you to do, and it's very valuable just to grow as a person to do that. You have a guardian who is a dragon. I'm also getting a sense of water as well, so there might be a lot of water in the chart. Let's just get along to this one. Rings of time. I'm also getting the feeling from rings of time that I feel like there are some old stories that makes you feel like you're being bound to it. In the sense that The universe wants you to know that you can just get out of those old stories and old patterns. It's more about 
is burning your old leaves. Four, four, three, twelve. So it's like one, two, three, four. So we're taking one step at a time. Oh my god. Just going. Two, I think it says from the number 10 that it's like after 9. So 9 is to me more about completion and 10 is like starting all, all over again. So this ties really back to like working through your beliefs, through experience, and A lot of cutting away of old beliefs and starting again. And that's how you meet your true love. I'm wondering... How do you feel like I'm getting a sense of nightclub from this? Maybe. So it's, I'm also getting the sense that the universe wants you to... Maybe go into the... Go into the library for references, but also keep up with your social life. What's a cockatoo? So maybe, maybe your true love soulmate is somebody very loud. Maybe somebody who you think is very annoying. Random methods, but you know, it's like make sure you have fun. That's who I'll say for A lot about communication as well with the blue. Also with this one as well. Communication through a chakra. Communicating with ancient wisdom through books, but also communicating people as well. Also there might be some things within you that you really need to air out or get rid of from this card. 12. Actually it was one kind of my favourite numbers. So maybe this is also about finding the right lighting. Perfect balance. Thank you. Hope you visit me soon again. Pile number two. Let's see. So what the life is supposed to be? Yes. Starting with the life is the rule. It's it's one of those ancient stones which people, like religious leaders, is it the Aztecs? What is it? I think it was like Aztecs or Inmos, something like that. They believe that this stone could protect you from the evil, the evil spirits, and also foretell the future. This is also like a supposed chakra between the third chakra and the third eye chakra, so it's like here. And it's all about knowledge. And how it's like universal knowledge, personal knowledge, and like a lot of ancestral knowledge as well. So it's about using what you know. So, yeah. 18. Like, okay, there's two different ways you can see this card. One of the ways is that so like you can be either of these people. Generally speaking, so if you're the person in the pink, the universe might be wanting you to be less clean or just less less needy, you know. You just like, give people their personal space. I think that's what the, the universe wants you to do. It's like to become a more upgraded version of yourself so that you can meet the true love. Or if you're the person in the blue, it's about 
not being afraid to be attached to someone. Um, also, this is very much like a twin flame energy as well. It's like cat and mouse. It's like more like cat and dog in my eyes. It's like one person chasing the other, and then the next one is the other person chasing the other person, something like that. And also, but this is like also attracting the opposite. So, it kind of reminds me of how like, I used to be really scared of being attached and feeling like I've been chained down no freedom and then the kind of people I attracted were kind of very obsessive like, very possessive as well so it's like being afraid of something and then attracting what you're afraid of so I think the universe also wants you to know that there is nothing to be afraid of and also 1 plus 8 is 9 like 9 is all about completion I love the number 9 What's it called again? My number is nine. So I'm getting the sense that you should look for somebody who is at the same level as you because you see this person in pink is wearing a crown and the other person is just like wearing what Robin Hood kind of wears. Something blue. Also, this is a lot about being present in the moment, communicating about what is in the moment because pink is the crown chakra and she's also wearing a crown. Quick position. Um, and also, the blue is. This blue is between this chakra and the throat chakra. The northern chakra. So it is a lot about knowing what you know. Mm. I'm hearing Christmas, maybe you'll meet the person at Christmas, you're true love. Also, I'm getting the sense that don't be tied so much to hierarchy and don't be so bothered by it at the same time, for some of you. For some of you, it's like don't be scared to participate in family traditions or some family traditions are not right for you and that is okay, just leave that. You see, for a lot of yeah, it's 28, it's 10, so it's like 9 and 10. 8 again, and 8 is about eternity. So I feel like this true love, this soulmate, is somebody who will be with you for eternity. Oh, how cheesy. That is so true. I believe so. And one and two as well. I think you guys will be a very nice pair. And also, so this one, these two cards really. So I want to mention fetish, but maybe I wouldn't mention it. And also, and also, I think the universe, what I was going to say before, is that the universe would like you to just like, like tweak a little bit of yourself to make yourself. The better version of you, your higher self embodied in the flesh, something like that. This could be so you can either be the ice cream or the person standing over the ice cream. Either the universe wants you to be less intimidating or somebody who learns how to stand up for themselves. This ice cream needs to stand up. Or it could be basically a balance of being intimidating, also knowing when to let others like, surrender to others. Uh, it's like surrendering to others' love for you or something like that. But generally speaking, I feel like either you really need to have someone. Or you can be someone who just stands there and does nothing and just watches this whole thing. The universe wants you to participate. Mm. Also, I'm getting the universe wants you to stand up for others. Maybe you can meet someone through some kind of mm, like environmentalism or something like that. 
But the general sense still is I'm getting that the universe wants you to it's like tweak up. Or tweak down something. Just dial it down or dial it off. I mean, it's all your choice. I think that's what the universe wants you to know as well. It's like, you can be this person, or you can be this person, or you can be this person. It is all up to you. So you have a lot of power. You got a lot of cards. Oh, oh, oh. King of Air in reverse. Oh, wow. King of Air in reverse. Is this the king that... I'm feeling like I used to be quite close to this King of Air person who tends to be nice to you, but then it's definitely he. So this so he does things for you to make you feel like you need to do more things for him, and that is how he controls you. Instead of somebody who is logical, like the actual upright. King of Air, King of Swords, and who also King of Swords was like a really somewhat. He also has the feeling of both fire, water, and air. Makes me want to like talk about Abbott. Someone really kind of. The universe could be saying to you that you're smart enough to know what you should do, what you shouldn't do. And also, you're smart enough to know who you should talk to and who you should be friends with and who you should run away from, potentially. Yeah, I think that's what the universe. Mm, well. Yeah, so, like what I said before, you have a lot of power, so you can, basically you can learn whatever you want to learn by yourself. And maybe that is also why, because you feel you're so, maybe for some of you, you feel so independent, faction of you, you feel so independent that you don't need anybody. That's why when you see somebody wanting to be in love with you, you feel like they're just trying to control you or something like that. Or you have control issues yourself and you want to control how, how other people treat you. And the universe is saying that you can do everything yourself. I mean, it's like, it's like there is security within yourself. Security is something that you believe in. Like being resourceful because you're like the king of air in the universe. Maybe some of you feel like you're uncontrollable. I'm seeing that actually. Uncontrollable, but also, you know, that's the same way. Also, maybe you feel like some parts of you you can't tame and you're untamable. Maybe you like being that. The universe just says, if you want to really need someone. I think the universe really is saying that you don't need to do anything, it's just it's all about self-love like knowing that you are worthy of love from other people and that other people might need your love I mean they might want your love they might want some of their love too I think sense that There's a lot of different, it's like a few different sides to this story. Mm -hmm. Just look at look at these. It's like breaking down the walls with these. Twelve again. Twelve. Thirteen. Can you sense that a lot of moving away from how you are feeling right now? The universe wants to know that you attract how you feel. So like how it's about 
if you're very scared of something you might attract it and so this ties back to feeling how if you have like you have a feeling of insecurity which you can tap into any time and it is only up to you you can do it the universe is saying like don't stay in a place where you feel insecure even don't talk to people who make you feel insecure don't talk to people who might make you want to submit to them but don't, and also for some of you don't be so intimidating and want you to control other people like this is about talking to people as well number 12 and also listening to maybe even what the universe wants to say to you through feathers I'm hearing also this is about gossip so there might be people we, even you you might be saying some things about other people and the universe might the universe wants you to do wants to ask you why is it that you feel compelled to do what you do it's like noises going everywhere um and also whatever you do the universe wants you to know that it will come back to you I mean, it might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, it all depends on you. But to me this one is about, like, it can really, it's like, it can really go back to where you want to be, feeling or thinking. So if you're missing your childhood, for example, you can really go back to how you think in your childhood days, in your child day, child day, child care. Or maybe you'll meet this person in child care. Like this actually ties back to how I there was a period of time where I felt like I was still young, I was like 20, 21, like I'm 22 now. <laughs> I feel so young right now in terms of thought. I feel like a 12 year old sometimes. And so maybe the universe is telling you that your mentality how much stress you want to give yourself is all up to you. If you want to have, if you want to have zero stress, like how you had zero stress when you were a child, which actually I didn't have zero stress when I was a child. Universe says that you can think like that. It is all up to you. It's like you only live here once in your body, so you may as well live the life you really want to live. So, yeah, the universe just says that you are in power. Like, take things one at a time. Like, I don't know. The universe wants you to know that it might be like Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus. What's going on? Right? Mm. Somebody chop it all in the I'm getting the sense that the way you talk can really influence how people think in general. And also the universe. So it's that maybe, maybe just through a career of some kind, of activism or something, like eco friendly career, authorship, you meet this person. And that was a very interesting reading. I hope you find some kind of light help from it. Yes, it means so. Thank you. And now Angelite. Angelite is all about communicating with the angels. It was one of my favorite stories. I would always, it was time I would like put it, this, like put this egg into like, a little round cage, like a lantern and hang it around my neck. It was so cute. And also like, it's really olden day song. It's like some country music going on with my neighbors. While staying by your side. It's like I think the angels want you to yeah, hearing rodeo. I really want to go to a rodeo one day. The angels are telling you that they are by your side all the time. There is no need for you to fear. It's not what it is. Hearing that. Some of you, you're just like going along with your own plan. 
want in your past you wanted to say that maybe you care too much. Like the universe wants to ask you, why do you care so much about having everything in order? Or like the universe wants you to even plan some fun things for you to do. Maybe that is that is how you need like help somebody from hearing that. And like through that you might meet a true love. Do this card so quickly. Eleven twin flame energy. Probably somebody who is very similar to you. Maybe coming into your life very soon. Yeah. Eleven eleven eleven. Love. This is all about this love card is kind of to me a little bit controversial. It's like the birds are flying everywhere. It's like just take it easy. Go off the path that you plan out for yourself once in a while. Maybe plan to go off in a path, a different path. Go into a newborn road. Town. Go up town or something. Also, like the reason why I find this controversial is that. This card talks about every kind of love being a kind of love, even a codependency being a kind of love actually. And it can be transformed into true love or something like that. Maybe one of you maybe some of you already know this person. Or you know that this person like you guys you really need somebody. Like like they help you and you help them kind of thing. Very really strange like mixed signals. I also feeling about not feeling guilty of wanting love as well. Like this person here. To me is just somebody who really hippie. <laughs> With a foul crown, loving everybody, free sexuality, whatever that means to you, freedom. Like, it's the codependency as a form of love that really bubbles me sometimes. But it's about a new coming, coming of age, like a new age of, it's like coming out of the ice age. <laughs> Why am I hearing this? It's like you're bursting out of an iceberg and like there's flowers growing out of it. Yeah, like with people who like to plan a lot in their minds, maybe a little bit detached from emotions, just a little bit unemotional. So like to go off the path to plan for yourself, even if you plan to go off the path to plan for yourself, that is still a way of setting yourself free in a way. Also, yin yang lover, oh my gosh, what am I telling you? Oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to be one great love story. Maybe you should turn it into something else too. <laughs> like a movie. I'll watch it as a new movie. Um, it's very like cross dimensional, galactic kind of feeling with this love. Maybe you guys both are like interested in new age and meet each other in some kind of meditation session. Like, kind like. Of, like um, it's like love meditation sessions or like those Reiki sessions people do and meet up. Meet up. Yeah, this is about like, oh my gosh, what did I just say? This is going, and also, this is also about going, going backwards. I'm like, I'm hearing for some of you, there is something that you wanted to try before in the past, but you didn't take that route and now you can go down that rodeo show go down to a rodeo show why am i hearing that <laughs> why am i hearing texas anyway so yeah it's, it's very much a mix of both like air and water as well which is of course means it's like air earth and water like this horse with this mermaid tail and this green mermaid tail. It's very about also going back to think about how your life has been. 
Well, it might be something really sad that might have happened to you in the past and that really affected how you decided to live out your life. Maybe you decided to go down through a new career. Like a new purchase even. There's like a lot of things like new investments that you might want to try and you tried. Or you are going to try. This is all about going back to communicating with your angels if you feel if you feel like you're somehow led to something or if you can't keep get somebody off your mind or something off your mind it might be what the angels are telling you to do or to talk to okay okay oh. <laughs> with this universe i'm thinking about how there might be a different way you want to think about this or how you your beliefs and i want to step out of how you think before Try something new, like a new age. Something you feel newly enthusiastic about, like me with ice skating. But yeah, so distancing. Um so the thing is it's like it's like finding a different neural part in your brain as well. It's like how you know how the ad about your will is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. It's also about if you want to change your thinking, it's like continuously going down the same path or not change your thinking. Instead of going, instead you should go down, you oh know, it's getting really noisy. Sorry about this. It's like going down a new path, how connecting a new neural path and constantly thinking like that will change your way of thinking. This thing for some of you, it might be through entrepreneurship where you meet this person. Whoa, cars keep falling as well. It's like really like letting go of yourself and letting yourself fall in love as well. That is how you're going to meet your true love. Oh my gosh, everything is falling. Thank you. Please visit me soon. I love you too.